Hello everyone and welcome back to Space Engineers. Uh, last night, as I was just drifting off to sleep, you know what haunted my dreams? This ship. It's true. I was thinking about this ship and how I could make it better. It doesn't need to take up so much space. If I had popped this cargo container right in the middle there and built everything around that, this ship would look a lot better and probably, well, might not work better, but it'll definitely look a lot better. And I also realized that maybe, maybe two thrusters on each side might be enough. It's possible that when I tried building it with two thrusters that I just didn't have enough nuclear reactors on there. Uh, which all led me to think about building another mining ship, a better version of this fully automated mining drone. But before I get carried away with that, one thing I do want to do is I want to set this ship up to mine some uranium because we are a little low on uranium. Ooh, what? Don't know what happened there. <laughs> I literally fell off the edge. Okay, let's go in and double check. Yeah, we are pretty low on uranium. We have only got, well, just shy of 700, which might not be that low. But I want to send this off and see what happens anyway. So I have uranium in a GPS marker somewhere. That one. So I'll show that on hard because I don't think the GPS marker is exactly where the auto miner needs it to be. Which is right there. So I'll go over there and we'll set up a GPS marker and we'll be right back. Now that we are here, I'm just looking for the uranium. Put my, put my light on. Oh, I guess it makes no difference. So there's some uranium there. And um, I thought I saw, oh yeah, there is a whole bunch of uranium there. Is that uranium there? No, that's just, oh, there is, yeah, uranium is all behind me. Oh, there is some uranium here. I'm just trying to think about the best place to place a marker. Is that uranium there? There's a little bit there. So maybe I should just get it to start somewhere over here. And see how it does. Yep, that's what we'll try. We'll just get it to start somewhere right here. I think that's probably about enough distance. GPS, new from current position. And we'll call this. We already have auto miner. Oh. Yep, auto miner one. So we'll call this auto miner two. Miner two. Oh, maybe it's also mark what it is. F E U. Okay, I'll copy that to clipboard and let me head back to base. Okay, a couple of things I want to do before I send this off. Let me first check what its status is, which I can easily do from, oh, I thought I could. PB, auto miner. Okay. What happened? Check code. Remember and exit. That's something new. Oh, I know why, because I need to switch it on. That's a lot better, right? Jeez, sorry, I forgot that I switched it off last time. Okay, go back to control panel and custom data, and I'll pop this there. Okay, please talk to static connected users drop off point. That's fine, because I can actually just do control and P, that should be it parked, I thought. Let me check. 
Stop controlling ship to computer program. Fine. I've stopped. And off she goes. Okay. So let's build another ship. Yet another ship. Seem to spend a lot of my time building ships, but that's okay. I think that's fun. I enjoy building ships. Okay, let me just pop one, two, three. I just want to have it a little bit high high enough. Or maybe that's too high. Okay, then what we'll have is we will have a cargo container. And I'm tempted to put it in like so. Yeah. That feels better to me. I'm going to pick up down. some... Uh, let's pick up some of those. Some of that. It's probably all I need to be able to put things down. Yeah, I am inclined to put one down just like that. And then what I will do is put a junction there. And then I should be able to put the drills on either side of that. Like that. And like... Come on, if I move out of the way. Why can't I put it there? Oh, like... Oh, I wonder why I can't put that down. Just in case it's because of missing blocks, let me... Not that uh, let me put uh, just a regular light armor block there and see if I can attach the drill to that. Is that correct? There we go. Does that connect? Yeah, that seems to connect to all the bits that it needs to. I'm not sure why. I'm going to just try grinding this off in case I'm just placing it incorrectly. Yeah, that seems okay. So yeah, so this is exactly how you, well, this is how I imagined it would work and it seems to be fine. I wasn't sure if I would need another one of those connectors there, but it seems to work. We will follow pretty much the same uh, setup that we used in the other ship, just a little bit just putting this in the middle. So that means that that's our connector there. And we will put our, our forward and reverse thrusters. We will need to put them over on this side possibly. But we will put our left and rights over here. Yeah, because we'll do thrusters next. Left and rights. I wonder though if I should make more space. Let's just put them on the edge here for now and then we can decide. Because we can, we have a space right in the middle there. And we have space for three there. The other thing that I can fix on this as well is the stone ejectors. Because in the other one I screwed that up. Ooh, if I put three there, then I need to think about how I'm going to place the nuclear, well, the reactors. Because once I put that there, I can't put a reactor on top, but I can put four around it. If I can find the reactors. There we go. So I can put one there, one there. I can put one there. Oh, I also want to check on how the mining is doing. One there. Okay. Uh, to check on how that mining is doing, what I will probably... Ah, oh, look at that. 9.85 kilometers. If I put an antenna on the base... I'll put it... Where should I put this? Darn. Can't put it, oh, maybe I can just put it sideways here. Yep, just like that. Okay, it's going to require a few trips. Let me build it. Let me weld it fully up and I'll be right back.
there we go so that's that set up I don't need it to broadcast its location let me just go and access it uh, control panel antenna hmm. I wonder if I need it to broadcast so for it to f be able to communicate with that ship 10 kilometers let me check so now if I press I and go into remote access ah. let me try setting that to broadcast it's also possible that the antenna range on that is not high enough because I forgot to turn it up before I set it off enable broadcasting I remote access oh there we go oh no that's a static grid I can access this but not that one Yep, I probably forgot to switch. I think I probably said like eight kilometers. You know what? I'm gonna go over there and check. But before I go, I'm just gonna pick up enough to put a camera on it because that would be quite nice to be able to see what it's getting up to. Uh, let me just check what all a camera needs. Uh, oh no, G. Camera. So, on a small ship, it just needs a couple of computers and some steel plate. That's fine, easily done. So, CC, computer, steel plate. Alright, where's server? Okay. I'm also wondering if I should really put a turret and some ammunition on these auto miners as well because we've got these meteorites. It could get hit by one of them. Although it'll spend most of its time inside an asteroid, so it'll be just the getting to and from the base. Let's go see if we can find this little guy. Okay, okay, he's or she is right there. Yeah, I see you. And it's just chugging along. Let's see what it's picked up. And mark one inventory. What? It's picked up nothing. Doesn't seem right. Did it make a hole? Oh, it made a hole right through the rock. Okay, so I guess it'll be doing a few trips before it actually picks up anything of value. I'm realizing that it is slowly moving. Can I put a camera on it? while it is moving. Do I have a camera somewhere? Camera. Oh sh shit. I clearly reversed a little too quickly out of there. Let me head back out. Let's see if I can find my body. Where's the ship? The ship's over there. Oh, I thought I died somewhere over here. I didn't pick anything up again because I want to pick the stuff up from the body. From my dead body. But I don't see it here. I thought it was just over here that I died. Or was it over here? Huh. 
All right, fine. I'll just make all of those things again. Oh wait, what is that? Oh, that's just the GPS marker. I guess I lost that the body GPS location because I probably took a little too long to actually get over here. Or it just didn't last very long. All right. Oh. But since I am all the way over here, and since I can't build a camera on it, I'll just have to make do. But what I can do is increase the range of this so that hopefully I can access it from I can access it from our base. So antenna. So what's oh that's five thousand kilometers. Let me change that to fifteen thousand. So that should let me pick it up from from the base. Um, is there some way I can check that? Yeah, so I can, because I can now access the base from here, I should be able to access the ship from the base. Although I can't use that to build anything on the ship, unfortunately. But when it comes back to base, I will build the, um, I will build a camera on it. Did it pick anything up? I'm not in range of either of those, that's why. Okay, let me just go back in and let me just quickly check if it managed to pick anything up. Uh, terminal, inventory, yes, 174 uranium. Not a lot, but it's better than zero. All right, off to base we go. Where's our base? Uh, oh, it's over there. Oh, okay, so I, now I can see all of my beacons and everything because that antenna is transmitting it. That's cool. Hopefully the pirates don't smell that and come looking for us. Oh wait. Should we go there? Let's go there. Because I think it might not be entirely on the way, but it feels like it is. Oh, I won't be able to grind it down, but let's see if there are any goodies in it. Check it out. I think there's a button to push. Okay. Yes. Yay! I got a new badger suit. What? I clearly have never seen it before, but I can try it out. Some. That. Ooh. Because I can't pick that up as well. Can't pick up the uranium. Oh, because it must not be connected. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Now, normally I would have a grinder with me and I would just grind parts of this down and get myself at that stuff. But since I died, I don't have access to any of that. That's fine. Let's head back to base. All right. So... Just to double check, let's load up our terminal, remote access, and the ant. There we go, that's nearly 10 kilometers away. Terminal, inventory, look at that, 100 is still, well, I can't remember if it's 183 before, but we've still got a little bit of uranium. It's a bunch of stone that is kicking out. Yeah, okay, take a look at that. Let's carry on with the building of this ship. Ah, we might not need some any light right now. So we've got, we've set up the thrusters. So three left and right, just because that's what fits nicely onto here. Oh yeah, and we've got the nuclear reactors. Uh, we need, we need gyroscopes, but we also need thrusters. So let me pop on a few thrusters because we need the up and downs. So one, oh, I forgot. I actually need to make myself a few tools as well since I died. So I want one, two, three. It might kick that out because it's taking too long. One, two, three, try again. Yeah, they should not get built. And I also need from here, let's say, oh man, I'm gonna need to make some 
canisters as well. One hydrogen, a couple of oxygen. That's good. And let me just go to the... Um, so that'll pick up the bottles and I can also pick up my tools. I need to fill that oxygen, so let's just go there. Yep, that's all filled. What else do I need? Might be enough for now. So thrusters. So let's pop on one, two, three. And I'll leave a gap there actually. And that is mainly so that I can put things like gyroscopes right in there. Oh, actually, we don't need three here, we just need two. Put them on both those sides. And I'll put a gyroscope, I'll put three, no, will I put three gyroscopes? I'll put two there. Because another thing that we need is an antenna. And what I can do with the antenna is place that right there. Snug. And I'll pop another gyroscope just on top there. Um, or should I... That's gy I won't put a gyroscope there. Because I will put the... Because that's two up and down. And I'll put two up and downs here as well. Because we want four. I think we still want four, just so that it's a bit quicker. I might only need two or three. Ack. How would I put three? Yeah, I might go for three this time, actually. The way I would do that is put one there and one there and I've got two gyroscopes on that side I'll put two more here so we have a little bit more maneuverability what else oh we need a programmable block and we need we want the prog programmable block relatively exposed and we also need the stone ejectors and we need a few so we've got left and right up and down so we need front and back so the way i might do front and back is there can i put front and back oops i can put front and back i can put it there oh i can that's cool. I might... It's right on the edge. I mean, the other option is to put it up top. Wait a minute. Oh, no, wait. That would go there. If I was to be able to put it on top, so that's, that's covered. I was just checking that the top of these aren't too high. What I might do is I could put a block there. And I could put, where was I going to put back? The reversing thrusters would go right out there. I could put these. Oh, actually, that's the other thing I could do with the ejectors. I could have them ejecting out the left and right hand side. That way, we won't run into them when we are reversing. Yeah, that's a good idea. Which means that I don't want these these here what I do want to figure out where the edge of this is actually let me bring them out all the way here doesn't have to go all yeah it does if I don't have it all the way out to the edge then when we reverse back it will hit some other part of the ship I'm going to take these reactors off and I'm going to pop them on the rear of that connector because on the side of it, I'm going to have a tube coming this way. And I am going to have, how am I, 
Yeah. Because the ejectors need to be on this block. Or maybe even one in. Which means that we need a few connectors. Hmm. I wonder if we'll have enough space. Put these connectors like so. Three, can I put one more? Four. Yeah, that's not going to be enough. Because I need a sorter and then an injector. So the only way I could do that is. I won't be able to have as many, but I would have to put a junction right there and have one there. Or I could have as many, but they just need to go out this way. Let's have that one there. And we have some small conveyor sorters facing this way. The four and the ejectors facing that way one two three four and I think that is yeah that is right on the edge I wonder if that will cause us problems from it knocking stuff into the wall yeah that might be too close and I don't want to pop on another Yep, okay, so this won't work. So what I would need to do then is there is a way around it, I think, which is to start from here. So start there. Yeah, even if I start there, I won't be able to put the yeah the conveyor sorters would still end up one block out and then the ejectors oh there is a can I push them down because if I put them here that's a lot of piping that I would need to do to be able to kick the stone out. Unless I move these to the... I can't move them to the bottom. Oh, and I can't pipe them round the bottom too much because that is where it connects. Hmm. I might just have to use the rear connectors and kick them out that way. Inbound. Unless I don't send them, maybe I just, yeah, I could do it this way. So I put them like so. So let's say we want four either side and, and we pop so the ejectors have to be far enough out. So the ejectors have to be just one before that. And we will use a regular conveyor tube up to there. Is it there? Yeah. Nope. It needs one less. And then we would use a conveyor sorter, which goes in that direction. And then we use the ejectors, and let's check how correct, how close that is to where we need it to be. So if I then bring this along, I think that's perfect. Okay, so that would kick the stone out. It's inset. Ah, I wonder. It's inset, so the stone would get kicked out. I wonder if when we come back, it'll just hit this block instead of not hitting anything. We'll try it out. We'll try it out, and then we can we can we can see if we need to work on it. So we'll do the same thing on this side. So that was 
putting just a regular tube there, then the sorter. Oops, that's the wrong way around. Sorter needs to be going the other direction. And then we have the ejectors facing the right way. And that's four of them. And I guess I will do one more. One. Well, actually, I can do two more. Okay, so now we have the sorter, and on this side, I wish these jetpacks weren't so fast, facing the correct way, and then we have the ejectors, we just take these off, facing the right way, and then on the other side. This is quite nice. It provides another kind of platform on which you can put things on. Uh, like we can put our reactors right on top of that because we've got exactly four ports here and I wanted four reactors. So one, two, three, four. And what we will also do is we will Actually, we don't need to bring the rear thrusters all the way around here because there is full clearance. And what we can do with the thrusters is we can just put them on top here like so. One, two, now just turn it around and put them down there. One, come on. And I should be able to place one there, yep. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So we'll pop one facing the front like that. And we'll pop one there, and then one going backwards, or the forward thrusters, like so. So that's four, five, uh, plus six, ten, plus six, that's 16. I could take one of them out and we would fit, we would be within the limits for the RDAV's AI mining script, which says that there should only be 15. Let's just check how that is doing. Oh, there we go, 1.62K. <laughs> it's gonna take a while before it comes back. But this is the great thing about this is that I can also now, whenever I'm ready to, whenever this episode is, coming to an end, I can just go in here, type in fin and finish this and it'll just head back to base. I think on that note, I think this, oh, there are a couple of things that we need to put on there still like a remote control. We'll put on a camera so we can watch it from the distance. We will put on a sensor because the script needs that. And we will put on the programmable block for the script. But we will do all of that once we have welded this up, I think. And then we can also decide whether this is a better design than what we just sent out. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, here we are. All welded up, I think. and the nuclear reactors are not ready yet but i can fix that and test the the transmission and the conveyor tubes working if i just pick up some uh, uranium let's pick up let's say we've got 200 that's a lot that i just picked up let's pop them just in here and watch, yep, they're all online now. So that's clearly this whole conduit is working well. Uh, there are a few things that I want to configure. 
before I forget. So these are the small reactors. So we'll call that one tin uranium 50. I'll just copy this and pop them on all of them. And maybe I should, I'll just rename these as well. Two, three, and four. I also want to name this grid. Yep, that's definitely a small grid. So let's call this ant mark two. So I want to rename these to say um, A M two. So ant mark two. A M two. So we know what these are the reactors of. There we go. The next things that we want to do, we can prettify the ship later once we have it fully functioning. Now we want to put in a remote control. Now I'd like to put that right there. Now I have a remote control here somewhere. Yep. Three. I'll put that right there. Uh, I probably can't weld it up. Oh, I can. Uh, and I want to put on a camera so we can see what it's getting up to. And I think I can put the camera right there. That's that taken care of. I want to put a sensor. Now, this sensor can go anywhere. But I think I will put it on the outside just so, well, I'm not sure. I have a valid reason for it, but otherwise it'll just take up space on the inside. Now, I wouldn't be sure where exactly to put it. Put that there. And now that needs a couple of parts, which I will get. After that, a few other things that we need. One is a programmable block. Now, where shall we put that? I think that we will put it, we'll try putting it here, somewhere in there. How does that work? Yeah, or maybe facing the other way. Can I put it there? Oh yeah, okay, that looks kind of like that's how it should look. So what else do we need? We've got the programmable block, we've got the uh, the sensor, the camera, oh, uh, we've got the antenna set up. Oh, but the antenna is not fully welded up, but that's okay because it needs radio components, same as the sensor. What else? That might be everything. Let me roll that up and I'll be right back. Here we are. Is that all of it? It might actually be all of it. Let me, I need to pick up the code and the easiest way to do that is to go in there, go into the, whenever I see peanut, PB, it reminds me of peanut butter. So, okay, so let me just pick that up and I will pop that into this one. Edit, control A, control B, check code, remember and exit. Okay, so now we just need to, oh, so we have 15, Oh, that one already bypasses the check. That's why it's not complaining about the fact that there is an extra one in there. Let me just take this off. That's fine. And oh, the easiest way to park this, and I'm just realizing that I need to find a place to park this as well. I don't want to park it there because that's for the other one. Uh, maybe what I should do is park it, have another one coming off of this one. Yeah, okay. So let me put some of these things away. Particularly the, um, I might want those up. I keep some of those. I do not need those. Don't need those. And let me take that off. Ah, uh, I was 
worried you might do that. So I need steel plates. So let me just put some of those things away. probably need more space because I'm going to grind that off as well. Let me just put most of that away there, that away, and that should be enough because this doesn't take very many components. And then I need to make that into a junction. So junction right there. And then we will put the connector on top of that like so and then we will have more piping going along from here that might make that should i make that so one two three i know this looks a bit stupid right now it's just hanging off the base but uh that's what it will do for now before i figure out how to fix the whole shebang and actually have a nicer looking base yeah Okay, I think that'll do. Let me weld this up, I'll be right back. Here we are. So what we need to do now is get that ship to come and dock over here. And I'm going to attempt to do that with the control panel, with the uh, remote control. Okay, fly over, move away so I don't run into things. Okay, now I really want to be, okay, I want to be turning around, but I can't just yet. Okay, now we're looking about the right way. Let me come down a wee bit more so I can see that connector. Let's try that again for the second part of that. Control. Scroll down. Okay. Oh, there we go. Part taken. Not controlling it anymore. Let's remote access. Okay, I can't access the terminal of that because it's connected. Let's check uh, the programmable block, which is that one. So let's call this the Antmark 2 <laughs> programmable block uh, auto miner. Okay, so the only thing I need to provide this with now is the valid location for a GPS coordinate that will work. And here's one I prepared earlier which is that one, copy to clipboard. And I'm realizing that this is this should be the end of the episode. So what I will do is I will pop this in there and see if it flies off. There she goes. But I'm not actually going to let her go ahead and finish that because I want to get her to come back. Because it's the, oh, something is incomplete. For one gyroscope is incomplete. I will need to fix that. I need her to come back and park because that's the end of the episode. And I need to do the same thing with the ant mark one. So let me go into the terminal of that, put a space between the mark and the one, as that's irritating me. PB auto minor fin run. So that should bring that ant back to base as well. Let me just check, 10.2K of uranium. And it's got a bunch of stone that's kicking out. Now that's not a butt ton of uranium because if I was mining manually, I would have picked that up in a few minutes. But the great thing about this is that I didn't have to do anything. It did that all by itself. Okay, why is that flying in sideways? 
Why is that flying in upside down? <laughs> okay, that was good effort, but not perfect. I'm not gonna worry about it right now because it is here and it doesn't have any ore. I I want to share. What the? Okay, it's not upside down. It's just not fully placed onto the connector. You know what? Maybe I will do it manually. Uh, Mark two. Control. Okay, this way. That's pretty far up. Well, it's not entirely off. Let's just bring it right down. Does that work? There we go. Close enough, right? While we have it there, let's check that the AM2 reactor, yep, they've all got uranium in there. I should actually check how much uranium we have in the base as well, which I think is probably not a heck of a lot. 196, yeah, that'll last us. Let's just see how far the Ant Mark 1 is. Hold on, is that not moving? This is why, where I wish it had a camera. Let's just check one thing actually, remote access. Oh, okay, terminal, and it has a camera. View. Ah, so we can see what's exactly that's looking at. Let's just check there. That mark one seems to be stuck. Let me go take a look. Oh, she's just making. I guess it takes a while to get all the way to the other side of this asteroid because it is a little far. I think that it will try and get up to there and then it should just try and boost back to base. Let me just check. Let me just check the inventory. 10.2k of uranium. Not a heck of a lot, but better than nothing. Let me just check the code. Finished task, returning drop off. So there we go. It's just speeding off the base. There's one more thing that I want to do while we wait for that one to come back. Oh, look at that, that's picked up a good chunk of speed. Good stuff. Uh, that is to blueprint this ship. So if I can take control of the term, I can, oh. Static grid terminal, oops. Remote control. And if I can take control, there is a button. Okay, control and I disconnect and I move it up. And then I can just. Why did that just fall down? Or maybe because. Actually, I'm not sure. Remote access, terminal, remote control. Actually, let me switch off the. Auto miner, so it doesn't try and. Yeah, that's what it was. It was returning to drop off. So I'll just rename this as well AM2 remote control. And we can see that the other ship docked itself in the background there. Control. Yep, that definitely docked itself. Okay, so come out of that. Let me just blueprint that. Oops, uh, that's not. Let's control B. So there's the Ant Mark 2. And let me park that back. Ant Mark 2, control. Parked. So if we now check our base uranium store, we should have 
bunch of uranium ore. There we go. And it's being refined there. Fantastic. Hmm. Very quickly. Okay. Uh, in the next episode, we will tidy up the ship. I think it looks substantially better than this one. This one just looks... It's got a lot of empty space in, in, inside it, and it would just need a lot of armor blocks. But this one is a lot more compact. So I will put some armor blocks on there, and we will tidy it up. And it will look a lot slicker. Yeah, and I guess it kicked out all the stone quite efficiently, which I didn't really... Oh no, we haven't tested that yet. We will test the stone injectors. I don't think we even set them up. Let me set them up before I forget. Uh, sorter. Oh. Okay, we will set them up next time. Because they're all kind of bundled together right now. We'll set up the stone sorters. Uh, we will test it out and we will armor it up. So on the next episode, I have lots more exciting things that we'll do after that. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.